I got started with bear work in my master's. Um, I worked at Washington State University um, with a um, really amazing advisor. His name is Dr. Charlie Robbins. Um, and he had a captive grizzly bear nutritional research program. So there's the nutrition that has fed through my whole career. I started there. And um, I worked with him and did a master's degree studying grizzly bears. Um, I bounced around. I went to Africa and did some PhD work there. Ultimately ended up back in Alaska studying grizzly bears again for the, um, on contract with Alaska Department of Fish and Game. Couldn't find work in Alaska, left and went to Cornell University and went to study forest elephants in Africa. <laughs> um, but ultimately landed back at US Fish and Wildlife Service working for their polar bear program. Um, and um, while working, so when I started working at Fish and Wildlife Service, and I, I'm gonna point out some key individuals in my career because I think it's, a, as you mentioned, I'm a woman who's surrounded by mostly men and there have been some really key people that have done things that have really allowed me to be in this field, and Charlie Robbins was certainly the first. Um, Steve Anstrup used to be the head of the USGS polar bear program. Um, and he, from the time I started working at Fish and Wildlife Service, um, would collaborate with me. As soon as I started, he took me, he allowed me to come in the field with him. At that point, I had not started darting bears yet. I'd been out capturing bears, but I'd never been the person holding the gun and pulling the trigger. He was the first person to take me out and teach me to dart, um, and which was really a really important step um, to being able to do this work very independently. Um, <clears throat> and um, I was at Fish and Wildlife Service six years and then offered a job here at USGS, and so um, that's how I ended up here. Um, and very importantly here, uh, and also at Fish and Wildlife Service, I've had a lot of support um, to have children while I do this work, which is very challenging. I've been in the field pregnant twice, um, which was very difficult, and, um, but I have just received tremendous report, support and flexibility that allowed me to have children, which is more difficult for female to balance with their career, I think, than men, since you're the one who has to carry the child and, <laughs> and do a lot of that. So, um, so I've been really fortunate that I've gotten a lot of support to be able to be a woman in this field because it's um, definitely predominantly men. So. <laughs>